So, uh, this year has been kind of... Mm, uh, it looks like Korea is currently having a third wave, and this one looks like it's maybe going to be worse than the other ones. Um, a lot of countries like that are in the southern hemisphere that had uh, winter when we have summer, they had a big spike during their winters. As people move indoors, they're there's more contact between people and windows are closed. Those like it's it's better for the virus. So it could be that we're headed in for a long winter, but there is some hope. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about vaccines lately, so there might be something coming up that can get us out of this mess. And it would be nice to get um, get past coronavirus. This event is. Uh, the probably going to be the biggest thing of this century unless there's some big war coming up that in the future this video looks really out of date that is one of the possibilities maybe coronavirus will lead to war uh, one of the things i'm worried about is with china they've been making uh, a lot of financial partnerships uh, especially in africa where they're investing a lot of money and i mean no one else is investing there so like, of course, they're going to want to take money to help their own country. But attached to that is a lot of political influence, especially in places like the, the UN. Uh, they're also building like small islands out on uh, like reefs. Artificial islands. Yeah. yeah, artificial islands that are kind of moving their sphere of influence. And on top of that, they got the virus under control fairly quick and they because they're so self-sufficient, they don't really have to worry about imports, exports, and having a lot of people movement. They can kind of keep people separated, which is good for controlling virus. They did a much better job than America. America has been the world power. So one possibility is that China is going to take over the role as the world leader yeah and the thing is like anyone that studied epidemiology or um vir viriology study viruses could tell you that this was coming up korea narrowly missed out with mers that actually kind of helped for this one because it made us prepared we knew what to expect mers sars even avian influenza uh, swine flu, a lot of different types of cholera, um, Ebola, they've all happened already this century. Like there's something happening like every other year. But hopefully this does make us better prepared. If you look at the bubonic plague, when that happened, the people who were like rural, they survived more because of the social distancing. And what you had, a lot of literature got lost because people either had to burn them or there was no one left to take care of them. A lot of priests would go around to give people like their last rites. Well, now they're in direct contact with bubonic plague, which was, I think, a lot more infectious than um, the coronavirus is. So they, a lot of them got sick. And at that time, they were the ones that kind of preserved knowledge. They kind of ran the universities and that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, we, we lost a lot of knowledge. So that, I don't see that happening, but maybe something like technology will take a step backwards. Oh, another thing, um, like in Korea, like the government's taking this opportunity to like track us a lot more. Yes. Like they have a lot more rights to see where our phone's been, that kind of stuff, which some people are not very happy about because what's going to happen afterwards? What if, what if the government doesn't give up those rights? So there, there's a lot of things that could happen. So this week, I wanna know what do you think was going to happen after coronavirus?